You're swinging 10k. Yeah. That's oh, there he is. There he is. Bello Betty. I haven't seen a Bello Betty in Eon. This deck was everywhere, everywhere for like the first like couple weeks of OPO5. Now, I I don't know. I've never seen anybody even look at this thing anymore. I don't know. It's a whole. I don't even remember how to play again. Last time I like let I would just not swing sometimes. I don't know. I haven't played the purple Luffy matchup. I think into it, so I don't know how this is gonna go. How's our hand even looking? Our hand's nice. Our hand's nice. I would like a nine drop Kaido, obviously, but I don't want to see that right now. I can see that down the line. Law's good. Kid's good. Uh, Miss Double Finger's good. Gum Gum Gatling's nice, and I have a free card to trash basically with Magellan because I don't think Magellan's going to be very useful here. Polly's fantastic to see. Just fantastic. Now, do I swing right away? Or no? Oh no. The deck's very weird. It's like such an odd deck, you know? Like, <laughs> why? Like, why? I'm swinging for five anyway, I think. And then if he takes it, I'm ramping and I'm playing law. He didn't take it. I'm going to ramp anyway and play Miss Double Finger. Or do I play the law regardless, just as a blocker? And I just hold her as a 2K. And I feel like to beat this deck, you really need them to run out of gas. And I don't really care about ramping as much because I don't have any big guys to play. I'll play the law. I'll just play a blocker out. I don't think I'm going to get into seven cards in hand anyway. A lot of the life is triggers, and they play a lot of cards out of hand anyway, like with discarding and everything. So I don't think it's really a priority as much to uh, get on that. Let's get rid of that. I am happy I played the law. I think it was a good move. I think it was a good move. See, now I got to pick. Do I want to ramp and play ramping and playing Polly would be so good. I pop Ivan call before he even does anything with it. Ah, oh, I have to do that one. That one's like way too juicy, way too juicy. Boom, pop that. Come on, it's a juicer. I'll swing with this law because I mean, I'm swinging with the block. Uh, actually, let's swing with Luffy first and then we'll see if we swing with law. I'm swinging with Luffy regardless. He takes it. Plays out Kuma. Okay. I'll do this. Because again, it's like swinging with a blocker. A lot of times people hold blockers up and it's good. But I think it's also good to swing with blockers a lot of the time. Because like your opponent wants to answer the blocker probably eventually anyway. So if you swing with it, it's like I'm... You're gonna, it's gonna essentially block later on for free, you know? Make them take something at least, make them work. Make them sweat a little bit. <clears throat> Another good reason to play Polly is this turn we're gonna hit Tendon. So we could do Kid into Magellan into gaining a Dawn back with Kid, which is obviously an insane turn. Like, I don't gotta explain to you playing a 6K, a 6K, taking a Dawn away from my opponent and ramping myself an active Dawn. The pretty insane turn. He did get his first buff of the match. A second more. Well, one he trashed. The second one is here now, though. Where's he swinging? Uh, I'll counter that. I don't really want to start taking hits like that, especially if I can counter them for free, because later the deck's going to be swinging like 8K, and I'm not going to be able to counter out of like 8K swings. So I want to counter out of the seven, the 6Ks while I can, especially since I'm holding so many 2K counters in my hand regardless. Let's give you that. What do you want to do? Draw another one. Beautiful. Let's go. See, now this law is like, now he's going crazy. He's getting like extra value. We might as well just like do it. 
there is no way in hell you're going to counter out of my blocker loss swinging 5k into your 2k bellow betty there's no way you do that right now why are you even considering it okay then we'll go like this then we'll go like this use card action return to ramp unactive you got to put one back first though so you're going back to down to five dawn not really that bad for you though um you know like again you let this go through buddy don't even bluff that you're gonna block that you're probably letting that one go through as well maybe i don't know you and turn doing pretty nice look at that wow he's at seven dawn we're at 10 we have four people on our board three of them are 6ks we have one active blocker three life if we see a kaido the game is done the game's like see a kaido god damn that card is insane sometimes just when you need him he's crazy you're boosting right away the 3k i mean if you want to play someone with Ivankov. Yep, there's the Ivankov played off the Morley. I mean, the Morley played off the Ivankov. Like, the, this is why I was countering 2K before. I'm not going to be countering out of a 10K Ivankov swing. Hey, that's. Hey, you can have him. You didn't need to put the two Donna. I don't know what that was about. Seemed very personal. Seems like, you know, aggravated. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Now, do I stop this with the Jet Gatling? Do I stop this with the Jet Gatling? Ah. Oh. Do I stop this with Jack Gatling? I don't know. You know what? I don't. That's fine. He can have Polly. He can have him. Okay. And yeah, you're going to hit me in the face. I'm not stopping this. That's okay. No Kaido, which isn't great. We could kill here, but he has two done up suspiciously. Oh, if we had Kaido, it'd be so good. I'd windmill slam that down. I would. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't even. Don't even. Hmm. I could play X Drake. Oh, I don't know. This is hard. This is hard. I think I want to kill something and hit him once so i think i'm just gonna play like a lot of down because he probably has rad beam i would really like to kill an ivankov because killing like one of the morleys i don't think really does anything um if i kill ivankov that stops him from playing so this is 10k so you need 2k 2k and a 2k or 2k 2k 1k 1k We'll do one more. Because then if it's Rad Beam, he has to do Rad Beam in a 2K. We got that down. I'm just doing all the Don. Well, actually, we'll leave one Don to bluff a Blast Breath. What do you want to do? He takes. I hope it's not a good trigger. To be fair, I don't think he's got a trigger like all game. Actually, he got the Kuma. That was the one thing he got. Uh, I'm not swinging at you anyway, buddy. You should have just held that in hand. Why would you even do that? Like, res like genuinely. Because, like, you have the one Dawn up. You have two Dawn up. If you just add that Radim to your hand, 
you're just holding an extra rad beam because I'm not swinging at with you at you with kid anyway. You just did that for no reason. Like you just wasted a rad beam. You could have just held that. I don't know. I don't know. We still might lose this, obviously. I mean, he's not even at 10 Don somehow. I guess Magellan really messed up his curve that badly, huh? Koala. You pick Magellan there. Okay. I mean, I would have assumed you would have picked Kit or something. And then gone like Jet Pistol or... I don't know. Uh, uh, Fire Fist or something. That's a card you could use. Seems like he's going for game. I don't even know what I'm looking at. What's, go what's going on? You're swinging 10k. Yeah. That's oh, there he is. There he is. It looks like this one's going to be a, a win for us. Well, it's honestly like a guaranteed win for us at this point. Like, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Sorry, buddy. What even is your plan? You're freaking me out. Okay? You're freaking me out. Do you know something that I don't? Here he is anyway. Boom. I think it's literally just better if we play like a thing, but doesn't matter, I think. Kill him. Oh, that was fast. Another win, bro. This deck's so fun. This deck really is so fun. A little weird guy, but the deck's so fun.